Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about some fragrances that I think are perfect to transition from winter to spring. So I don't know about you guys, but I am really getting excited for spring, and I'm starting to kind of lose my desire for those really heavy, strong, winter, gourmandish, strong, spicy type of fragrances. I love those fragrances, don't get me wrong. Those are some of my favorites. But right now, I'm really craving some springtime scents. But the weather here is still not quite there. I thought it would be a good idea to pick out some fragrances that would be a good transition from winter to spring. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I really appreciate you being here. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys so, so much for all your continued support. I truly appreciate you. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so the day that this video goes up, it will be Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Whether you're with someone or not, it's still a day to celebrate you and make sure you pamper yourself and take good, good care of yourself. Make sure to practice lots and lots of self-love and also loving other people as well. So real quick before we get into the list, I wanted to talk to you guys about Valentine's Day. So my husband and I probably won't go out on actual Valentine's Day. We'll probably wait for the weekend to go out and celebrate because Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday. That's a work day for us. So I think I've chosen for my date night Valentine's scent. This is by Stefan Umbert Luca, and this is Venom Incarnate. And yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna go with. This is a beautiful strawberry leather scent, and it's strawberry and caramel, so it's sweet, but it has some leatherness in it, so it's very, very sexy, very date night appropriate, really, really good performance, and that sweet strawberry caramel with that contrasting dark base just is absolutely beautiful in my opinion and super super sexy so i think this is what i'm going to go with i'm really into this kind of like red vampy vibe right now so this is what i'm feeling and i want to hear from you let me know in the comment section what do you think you're going to wear for valentine's day all right let's get into the list of fragrances i think would be great to transition from cold weather so today it is really nice outside it's 71 degrees outside yesterday it was in the 70s my husband and i went to the beach we went for a walk on the beach it was beautiful but then when I look at the forecast there's some days where it's in the 60s and then some days where it's in the 50s and it starts to dip down into colder days so it's just going back and forth right now and it's kind of difficult if you're someone like me who wears fragrances based on weather and season it can be difficult to know what to wear so these are some ones that fit in both worlds if you will the first one is by the house of Amouage and this is lilac love I think this is absolutely perfect for this time of year because it is a strong performing perfume that will be a little too much in hot weather. But right now it's perfect because it has that floral aspect that really reminds me of spring. It's very purple floral, heliotrope, lots of lilac, very powdery, beautiful fragrance. But there's a lot of cacao in here as well and a lot of vanilla. And the cacao, the vanilla, I think there's some sandalwood and some patchouli in here as well. All of that kind of mixes together in the base to make this, it smells like creamy chocolate on my skin. So it's very powdery florals with this creamy chocolate base that I get on my skin. So you still get this kind of gourmand feel to the fragrance without it being a full on gourmand fragrance. It's a floral gourmand and it's absolutely beautiful. It is not a safe blind buy, even though I did blind buy this. This was my riskiest blind buy of 2023 and it worked out really well. I absolutely love the color of this bottle, but I don't recommend that because this is not a safe fragrance at all. This is not going to work for everybody. You absolutely have to be into really powdery fragrances because this is probably the powderiest of all of the fragrances that I have. It does smell a little vintage to me, but in the best possible way. So I absolutely love it. I think it's super fantastic performance. And yeah, if you're just looking for something that still has a little bit of a gourmand touch for those days when it's still cold, but you're looking forward to those floral fragrances, this one is perfect for that. I adore this fragrance and I'm so happy to have it. This is by the House of Amouage Lilac Love. And I gotta give it up to another one from Amouage. This is Love Tuberose. This is the same thing. This is a floral gourmand fragrance. 
Lots of tuberose in here. There's also jasmine gardenia. So if you're a white floral fan like I am and you're looking forward to those white floral scents come springtime, that's when I really love to wear my white florals. There's something about birds chirping, flowers blooming, springtime coming alive and white floral scents that just go hand in hand in my opinion. And this is absolutely beautiful, but there's enough of a gourmand touch in here to still get you through those colder days. There's whipped cream in here, which I absolutely love. The combination of the whipped cream and the white florals. This is stunningly gorgeous, but you do have to be a fan of tuberose specifically. I also get gardenia in here too, so keep that in mind. Not everybody is a gardenia fan. If you're not, you better test this first. Even though the white florals are prominent in here, I do not find them to be indolic to my nose. It's just a beautiful bouquet of strong white florals with this gorgeous vanilla and gorgeous whipped cream mixed together. Really good performance, but it's not, it's kind of an unexpected fragrance because it lasts all day and it's definitely present, but it fits what it is. It's an elegant white floral, fragrance so it's not screaming at you but it is definitely a good performer for sure so love this one can't recommend this one enough if you're a white floral fan it's beautiful so this is by amouage love tuberose all right this one would be perfect for valentine's day this is modest dew by afnon this is a beautiful beautiful affordable gem i've told you guys about this one before and i cannot recommend this fragrance enough it is so good so, so good. Afnon actually sent me a few other fragrances in PR, which I will be telling you guys about, but so far, from what I've tried from the house of Afnon, I'm pretty impressed. I bought this one with my own money, but the other ones that were sent to me, I'm testing them out, and I'm just kind of like, wow, okay, Afnon, I see you. <laughs> I see you. You're an affordable Middle Eastern brand that makes some, so far, some pretty good hits in my book. So this is no exception. This is gorgeous. This is strawberries and fruits. There's, I think there's cherry in here, maybe raspberry. It's very fruity at the top. It's got some dark chocolate in here. So the fruitiness reminds me of spring, but that chocolate gets, you know, that gourmand feel that you might still want if you're still in cold, cold winter days. And then it has a beautiful, a dark base that kind of reminds me of Lanoui Trezor, but not as dark in my opinion. Lanoui Trezor has a lot of dark base notes that deepen it up. This is a more playful version. It's still sexy and it's still beautiful, but this is a more playful, sexy, more lighthearted version of La Nuit Trezor by Lancome. This is so fruity and sweet and delicious and beautiful, and I think this would make a great Valentine's Day scent or just a great transition from winter into warmer weather. It's not super thick and heavy, so even in the warmer days, you could still wear this. It's fruity enough that you could still wear this and feel like it's appropriate for spring days. So yeah, I think this one is beautiful. Excellent performance on this one. It lasts all day. And this is also a compliment getter. Really good quality smelling fragrance. Amazing bang for your buck. I paid about $30 for this fragrance and I highly recommend it. So this is by Afnon Modest Dew. Okay, this next one is a gorgeous caramel and rose combo scent that snuck up on me when I first tried it. I thought it was just okay, but wow, have I fallen in love with this fragrance. This is by the House of Tamine Peregrina. This is perfect because it has that rosy and white florals. It has roses and white florals in it, so it gives you that florally springtime feel. But then there's also caramel in here. But the caramel is not thick. I love this perfume. This is not thick. It's not super dense, but it's still enough of a caramelly sweet vibe that it's good for cold weather. This has really, really good performance on me, so it will cut through cold days, but it's not a straight up gourmand fragrance. I'm just, I mean, I love my gourmands, you guys. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love them, but I'm ready to move on. I had my fun with them. I really love them during the holiday season, and it's like fall, winter, you know, right when September hits until the beginning of January, mid-January, I'm so in the mood for my gourmands, 
but now I just want feminine, floral, sweet, and powdery scents. I'm really wanting powdery scents, which there is powder in here, but not too much. There's not too much of anything in this fragrance. I think this is done so, so well. I love the rose in here, definitely can make it out, but it's not an old fashioned, outdated rose. To me, this is a modern smelling rose fragrance that is really quite interesting and extremely enjoyable to wear. So when I first tried, I tested this one first, I did not blind buy this, and I had a sample and I sprayed it and I remember thinking, that is very nice. And then I didn't really think much more about it, went throughout my day, and as I was getting wafts of this fragrance throughout the day, I just absolutely fell in love. I was picking up on the rose, the white florals, the powder, the caramel, it was all coming together in this absolutely gorgeous, sweet, feminine concoction that I couldn't get enough of. And that night I ordered a full bottle and I have not looked back. I think this is absolutely stunning. So this is by the House of Tamine Peregrina. Okay, this next fragrance is one that I thought was for summertime, but I'm changing my mind because when I first got it, it was really good performing. The vanilla was there, but now that it has sat, oh my gosh, this is a vanilla bomb. And I think it might be a little too heavy and strong for hot summer, just full on summer. So this might be a good transition. If you're still craving those vanillas, but you want something fruity, springtime feeling, this might be a good one. This is by the House of Narcotica Narco Oasis. This has a ton of passion fruit in it. It smells very tropical, so it reminds me of summer. But that vanilla has deepened so much since I got it that it is, wow, lots of vanilla. It's passion fruit, lots of tropical fruits, like I think there's peach in here. Beautiful, delicious, gorgeous, fruity, if you love fruity fragrances and you love vanilla, you really need to get your nose on this. I think I will be able to wear this in the summertime as well, but I think I'll have to wait for summer nights because like I said, that vanilla in here has really gotten dense. And this is a strong, strong perfume now. This is definitely extract to parfum. When I first got it, it was only a moderate performing fragrance, but that is not the case now. This smells so good. This was my best blind buy of 2023. I absolutely loved this. I did blind buy this <laughs> because when I saw the notes, I was like, yeah, I'm going to love that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just... Wow, is this good. It's even better than it was when I first got it. Now that it's had time to actually sit and oxidize, just wow, it has blended together to make the most gorgeous fruity vanilla perfume. When I first got this, that passion fruit was sharp and piercing. I remember the first spray, I didn't think I was gonna like it because I thought the passion fruit was too much, but now that it has sat, it is not like that at all. It's not sharp and piercing. I mean, it's definitely there. You still have to love passion fruit. That is the star of the show in here, but it is so smooth now. I can't recommend this enough. Get a sample of it though, don't blind buy it. It's very expensive. If you're wondering, if you live in the United States, and I think in, you're gonna have to look on their website to see where they ship to, because I know they ship to more than just the United States, but Dior Prestige, I'll leave their information in the description box. They do carry travel sizes and samples of every single fragrance that they carry. So if you're interested in Narcotica fragrances but you don't want to blind buy, get a sample or a travel size first. And yeah, and it's not just Narcotica, it's every single perfume that they sell, they offer samples or like I think it's a two mil maybe offering and then a 10 mil and then a full size bottle offering on their website. So you do not have to blind buy, test it for yourself, but wow, I can't recommend this enough. This is by Narcotica Narco Oasis. All right, maybe you are still wanting your gourmands, but you need a gourmand that is not going to suffocate you. Maybe you live somewhere where it's already starting to get warm. Like I said, today it is, I believe, 72 degrees outside right now as we speak. And yeah, it's, you know, it's, that's not hot, but that's getting warm, right? That's springtime. That's springtime weather. And you're wanting something that isn't going to be it's gonna be gourmand, but it's not gonna be overpowering gourmand. I recommend by the House of Siage Hufflepuff. This is a perfect spring and summer gourmand. This smells so good, so good. And it is getting stronger as it sits. It's still not super strong. I remember when I first got it, 
I was like, ooh, that's pretty light performing. I don't know if it's, I never really thought it wasn't worth the money because first of all, I'm a big Harry Potter fan and this bottle just makes it worth it all by itself. <laughs> Pufflepuff, the yellow, it's beautiful. Like I said, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and also the way that this smells is divine. This is lemon and peach and coconut, but it's not coconut like suntan lotion coconut. It is the most gorgeous, delicious coconut cream accord. It'll make you want to just bite your own arm off. I mean, it is so good. And the vanilla in here is beautiful, but it's not too strong. It's not too thick. It's not too much for warm weather. It's absolutely perfect for spring and summer. So if you're still craving your gourmands, but you don't want to get choked out, this is beautiful. And it does start to perform better as time goes on. Like I said, it's still not a screamer, which is why it makes it perfect for warm weather because it's not going to choke you out but the performance is getting better. So I didn't pay full price for this. I think I got it at 30% off. I think it was worth it. And I really cannot get over how this smells because it is just absolutely delicious. So if you like coconut and vanilla and lemon gourmand perfumes, oh, you gotta check this one out, you guys. It is so good. So this is by the House of Siage. Hufflepuff. Wow, I can't smell anything now that I sprayed Narco Oasis. It is so strong. It is all I can smell right now. It's just wafting off the back of my hand. This is so good. It's so good. Next up, we have, if you're into lactonic scents, now is the time to get out your Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaires. This is the time to wear this because I feel personally for me like lactonic scents are just not easy to wear in the heat. In the summertime, I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this, but right now this is absolutely beautiful because it has florals in it. It has that tuberose and it reminds me of springtime with the tuberose and it has a lot of muskiness in it as well. So it's musky, it's floral, and it's beautiful. I love this. Not a safe blind buy. Probably one of the most polarizing scents I think I've seen in a while. I mean, this and Guidance, I feel like, were the two most polarizing scents that came out. Was that in 2023 when this came out? I don't even know anymore. I can't keep track. But whenever they came out, they were super polarizing. I'm not a Guidance fan. I cannot make that fragrance work for me. But this one... This I absolutely love, and you've got to be into lactonic fragrances, though. So this reminds me of springtime for some reason, but I think that this is an all-year-round scent because, except for in the hot, hot weather, I can't do milky notes in hot weather. Like, milk and hotness don't go together for me. But if you love a good lactonic fragrance, if you want a milky, tuberose, musky, beautiful, feminine fragrance that smells like really nothing I've ever smelled before. This is absolutely beautiful and the performance on this is outstanding. You will have no issues. You will be able to smell this all day. This lasts for an eternity and it is just beautiful. So yeah, definitely try before you buy, but I absolutely love it. So this is by Liquid Imaginaires Blanche Bet. Okay, up next we have my very well loved and very worn. <laughs> this bottle is getting down there. This is by Parfums to Marley Oriana. I adore this fragrance, you guys. This is one that I, I just grow to love it more and more and more every time I wear it. It's on my tray for February and I cannot get enough of this. This is so good. This has amazing performance on me and I know so many people have complained about the performance, but when this first came out, I think people just didn't give it time. I think people judged the performance of it too quickly. It was a new formula, and now it's just, it's a non-issue for me. I can definitely smell this on me all day, and it's gorgeous. This is Orange Blossom. Lots of Orange Blossom, which I love. So it has this very springtime floral feel to it. And in addition to that, it also has raspberry and other fruits. There's fruity notes in here, so it's fruity orange blossom so very springtime in that essence but then in the dry down it has a lot of marshmallow and some chantilly cream so that is also going to get you through those cold days and like i said the performance of this cuts through the cold for me i've worn this on both colder days and warmer days and it works in both situations for me there's a small hint of something like a dryer sheet going through the entire wear of the fragrance which normally i do not like for some reason in here it just works. It smells clean, slightly florally, slightly fruity, slightly gourmand. 
all together in one amazing perfume that just works. I absolutely love Oriana and I love the bottle. I think the bottle is perfect. So this is by the House of Parfums de Marley, Oriana. All right, a perfume that always reminds me of Easter. Easter is in the spring and therefore I associate it with spring. I don't know why. <laughs> I really truly cannot figure out why almond fragrances remind me so strongly of Easter, but this is by the House of BDK Velvet Tonka. This has a lot of almonds in it. You know what it is, is the colorful pastel Jordan almonds. You know those Jordan almond candies and they're, they look like little eggs and they're pastel colored? That, I associate that with Easter. So almonds, Easter, Easter, Velvet Tonka. <laughs> Just follow along with me with my logic here, okay? If you love almond fragrances, if you love tonka bean fragrances, I cannot get enough of this. It smells like cherry blossom, but it's not cherry blossom. It's rose oil that's in here, but for some reason my nose interprets it as cherry blossom. I think it has a lot to do with the almond as well because sometimes almonds smell like cherry and cherries can smell like almonds. And that's what I pick up in here. I almost even get a cherry feel to this fragrance sometimes too. I get cherries, cherry blossom, almonds, tonka, vanilla goodness. It's a good performing perfume, but it's not a screamer. But it is good enough to cut through the cold. It will last on me all day. And it just reminds me of Easter. It reminds me of spring. It reminds me of joy and happiness. If you don't like Velvet Tonka, I don't understand you. <laughs> this is so nostalgic feeling to me. This makes me feel like I'm home. It just gives me all the warm, cozy vibes, and I absolutely love it. So this is by the House of BDK, Velvet Tonka. And last but not least, we have by the House of Mugler. This is Alien Goddess Intense. This one, I've told you guys before, I've talked about this one a lot lately, but I'm just so impressed by this fragrance. It's such a great designer release that just doesn't get talked about enough. And I feel like if you're an Alien fan and you were disappointed with Alien Goddess because it didn't smell enough like Alien, this was the answer. This has enough of that, a original OG alien DNA without it being too much. For me, the original alien is just too much. It's too indolic jasmine for me. And the alien goddess was nice. It's very beachy, but it, it, it was just a very beachy, coconutty kind of scent. This is a beautiful mixture of the two. So there's enough of the jasmine, the floral aspects, there's enough of the coconut in here that it gives me that spring summer feel, but then it is very warm, ambery vanilla in here as well. There's lots of ambery vanilla in here, which warms it up and makes it so that it's really good for just all year round. Another amazing scent for like a signature scent if you're just looking for something to wear all year round, but this really is a beautiful transition because that warm, ambery vanilla reminds me of winter and it's a good enough performing perfume to cut through those cold days, but it's not so much in that direction that you couldn't wear it in the springtime, which is what makes it a good transition because again, you get that jasmine and you get that coconut that starts to move over in the springtime direction. So this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, amazing performance, and this is a compliment getter. In my opinion, this is the best alien out of all of them, and I just adore this. This is so, so good. And I don't know why people don't talk about this one enough. So this is by the House of Mugler, Alien Goddess Intense. All right, guys, and that's it for today's video. Those are the fragrances that I think would make great transition from cold to warmer weather. And I would love to hear from you. Let me know. First of all, again, let me know what you're going to wear for Valentine's Day date night or whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day. And also let me know if you have any suggestions for me that would make good transition perfumes from winter to spring. I love to get suggestions from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!